Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another playthrough of Arkham Horror DLCG. And this time I am playing the Blob That Ate Everything Else scenario. That is a, a continuation of the Blob That Ate Everything scenario released a few years ago. So this was the, uh, so to say, last <laughs> design of uh, M.G. Newman, the uh, former lead investigator for Arkham Horror the card game. And uh, we are actually playing um, parallel Jenny Barnes in this playthrough. I have built the deck for Jenny and we'll go first through the uh, deck list and then we'll see what has changed for the scenario. But yeah, uh, this will be a fun little scenario to play with Parallel Jenny. Uh, I have built a really expensive, <laughs> ex wise expensive deck for Jenny with 39 experience in it. So let's hop over to ArkhamCDB.com and see what the deck is all about. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and um, uh, this is my Parallel Jenny vs. the Blob that ate everything else deck and uh, we'll go through the main thing in the deck. So um, the Arkham D uh, Arkham CDP.com doesn't support Parallel Jenny yet, so don't mind these forbidden cards here that are um, crossed over. Uh, they are allowed in Parallel Jenny's deck building. So uh, Parallel Jenny's main thing is to play talent assets as a free action like Leo Anderson can play allies as a uh, when when um, the turn your turn begins you can play one card uh, as a reaction without spending an action so uh, Jenny can do the same for uh, talents then Jenny also has a ability to uh, discard a talent asset you control and gain resources equal to that asset's printed cost. And when you are playing um, a talent down uh, as the triggered ability, it is uh, uh, one resource cheaper. So that is one way to get resources with Jenny. And um, uh, the deck building is um, zero to three rogue cards. Uh, 0 to 5 neutral cards and uh, 0 to 5 uh, non-permanent talent card not allowed with the other uh, uh, deck building restrictions and you can have up to 10 of those cards. I only have 8 of those cards but I think that's uh, more than enough. So uh, first off of course we need to be able to get some clues so we have the flashlight. Uh, we have uh, two copies of level 1 lockpicks. We have uh, for combat Mauser uh, C96 and uh, of course Jenny's Twin 45s and uh, well I'm playing the um, advanced versions of uh, the signature cards so they are a bit different. Uh, we'll go through them if we draw them and play them. Then we have one copy of Lucky Secret Case just so if I get this into play I get more card draw. and. Uh, for uh, allies, we have two copies of Lola Santiago, a really good um, rogue ally if you are intending of uh, getting clues fast. This is a really good card with, uh, if you have a good uh, economy in your deck. And uh, I'm hoping Jenny will have that. Then uh, we have two fox masks because these are really, really good cards. They boost my uh, intellect and um, agility, which are really used for for uh, Jenny. Then uh, we'll get into the uh, talents. So we have two copies of High Roller. Uh, again, we should have a bunch of resources in this deck, so High Roller will be quite good. Then we have Hyper Awareness level 4. So uh, this is one of the cards uh, that is allowed uh, outside of the normal deck building. Then we have Lone Wolf for more economy, because we're playing True Solo. It's a staple in Rogue in True Solo. Uh, then uh, why not play Pathfinder? It's a talent and you get to play it as a reaction with only two resources. 
and we are using the latest um, taboo list so it, it costs two um, experience then we have physical training and uh, level four and um, two copies of that and the main thing is the well prepared this combos really well with these level four uh, talents because uh, it exhaust uh, when you use this you exhaust well prepared choose an asset you control you get plus x skill value for this skill test where x is the number of matching skill icons on the chosen asset and if you notice they have uh, two of each um, icon on them so if I get both of these into play I can use them to any skill tests basically just by exhausting them they also have um, regenerating resources that you can use to boost your um, skill values then uh, the rest of the deck is mainly economy so three copies of easy mark two Faustian bargains to get some more resources and uh, for only one skill uh, that I managed to cram in the deck is Savant and this is a really good card for Jenny because uh, she's trees all uh, across the board so this will basically be a four icon uh, skill card for any test I'm committing it to. Uh, because we are uh, rocking with uh, 39 experience I had to take four basic weaknesses. The first is the tower which is not that bad because we don't have that many cards we are committing to test so as far as I can say if we uh, don't have savants this can just stay in our hand we don't need to care about that uh, then we have the dread curse so this basically just adds five curse tokens into the back it might be annoying but it's not that bad uh, then we have the Accursed Follower, again not that bad. Uh, of course uh, this could spawn uh, really far from us so we couldn't, can't maybe deal with this guy fast so uh, he might accumulate a lot of curse tokens into the bag. And a Stubborn Detective because um, Jenny is a bit suspicious with all the resources she's running around with. So we have a Stubborn Detective on our tail. So that is basically the deck. So we are trying to get the well prepared into play and uh, the hyper awareness, physical training, and uh, the other uh, talent cards. And uh, yeah, that is basically the deck. So let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, and I'll go quickly through what has changed from the original the blob that ate everything. So we have a new location cards that were uh, randomly selected here. So we have new quarantine zone cards. I have uh, printed uh, my copies out from makingplaincards.com uh, when I uh, got some uh, fan-made uh, campaigns printed out on uh, actual card stock. They came out really nicely. I can hardly tell for, uh, with a glance which are uh, new ones and which are old ones, but uh, I can obviously tell if I look uh, a bit closer. Then uh, we are using a new reality asset table, which is provided in the um, scenario guide, which I only printed out and put together. So we have an all new table here for, for all the possible combos of tokens we are pulling. Uh, the main difference when pulling tokens is that uh, instead of uh, pulling two tokens simultaneously, you will pull one token, uh, then put it back into the bag and then pull another token. So you might get two Elder Signs, two auto fails and whatever, but yeah, it is a lot larger uh, reality asset table so uh, we will be seeing some interesting cards getting or stuff getting devoured throughout the game then uh, we have also three new story cards uh, added to the four um, earlier ones so uh, just to get the most new content out as I can I am watching the pick up one at random 
if it's possible. So I have uh, the new cards on top of these old ones. So if we get past all of the new cards, we'll start doing the old cards. But I want to see uh, new content and show it off. So that is uh, how I'm going to roll with this playthrough. So uh, that is basically everything. So without further delay, let's get started. Uh, first off, I think I'll just as a reminder read the uh, agenda and act card. So, agenda 1A, the anomaly spreads. You were in the town of the Blackwater when the impact even event occurred for several days. You, are, you investigated the matter until the anomaly em emerged and all hell broke loose. Fleeing is no longer an option, as the quarantine still holds and is strict, uh, strictly enforced. The only way you're getting out of here alive is if you can find a way to kill the anomaly, if, you, if such a thing is even possible. Each location is connected to each location adjacent to it, or orthogonally, so left to right, up and down, six doom threshold. Expose the anomaly. Objective at the start of the round. Investigators may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. Beware, advancing will expose the anomaly's weak spot. Be ready for a fight. And we need two clues to do that. Then um, we have no new cards in the encounter deck. I'm just giving it a quick shuffle because uh, I didn't shovel it freehand, which is uh, dumb, but whatever. So just a quick shuffle there, and we'll shuffle our deck also and draw our opening hand. We are starting at the temporary HQ. We have one countermeasure on the scenario reference card. Skulls are minus one for every five cards subject uh, 8L08 has devoured. Uh, cultists are minus two if this token is revealed during an attack against the enemy that en enemy gains retaliate for this attack. And tablets is minus three after this kill test ends. Subject uh, 8L08 devours each card that was committed to the test. So they get devoured even uh, if uh, we succeed. And uh, Elder Thing is a minus five. Choose up to five cards from your hand. Subject 8L08. 08 devours each of those cards. You get plus one skill value for this test for each card devoured in this way. So we can uh, mitigate that if we have uh, extra uh, cards we don't need. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. We are hoping to get something, some tools for investigating and some talents. So we get Savant, Jenny's twin uh, 45. So uh, it is the up advanced version, so uh, spend one ammo fight, you get plus two for this attack. This attack deals plus one damage. After you defeat an enemy using the above ability, exhaust Jenny's twin 45's gain resources equal to that enemy's printed health. And uh, we can play with axe resources, and the axe is the amount of ammo we get onto the card. Takes two hand slots. Uh, we get physical training level four, lone wolf, and flashlight. So I'm actually thinking of uh, going forward with this hand. We don't want to draw the tower or anything else. And I think we can use the summon early on. So if we draw the tower, we don't have to worry about it. So, uh, we'll start our first turn. I will use the, yeah, so just to show off the abilities on Jenny. So, after your turn begins, play a talent asset, reducing its cost by one and fast uh, trigger ability. Discard a talent asset you control, gain resources equal to that asset's printed cost, limit five resources per round, and Elder Sign is plus zero. If you succeed, gain three resources. So, uh, as a fast ability, uh, I will play the Lone Wolf. And, well, actually, yeah, I'll play the physical training one cheaper. Then I'll use the first action to play Lone Wolf. So I'm just uh, thinking, maybe I'll just pile these uh, 
talents here. So it gets two resources on it, which can be used to um, play stuff. Then I think I will play down a flashlight. And uh, we'll, as our last action, move. So we want to uh, start revealing location, getting some clues, and at some point when we are ready to find, advance and go to the crater to deal damage to subject uh, HL08. So the subject has uh, Fifteen health per investigator plus fifteen health. So we have to deal thirty health to the subject, and uh, if we do, we get resolution two. Okay, so yeah, we get some flashlight charges, and uh, yeah, last action will go up here. So, uh, this is an old one. It is a tree shroud location with one clue. Action, choose an exhausted ma manifold enemy and at bridge and test uh, intellect X, where X is that enemy's evade value. If you succeed, defeat the chosen enemy. Max one success per game. Okay, so we are investigating there next round. But that was the first round. No enemies yet. We'll go to upkeep. We draw. Well prepared, that's great. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. First encounter card of the game is... Ooze Wraith. Now actually... <laughs> did I have to shuffle everything in the deck? It's been a, it's been a while when I've last played uh, the blob that ate everything, so I'm just... Double checking, did we need to remove something from the deck in the setup? Uh, yeah. I think we are okay. We are not removing any any Encounter cars or enemies, yeah. So we drew Ooze Wraith. So uh, Ooze Wraith has spawned Father's Oozified location, Alert Hunter Retaliate. Uh, everything here is Oozified, so this enemy spawns here. It is the farthest. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It could come here, but it's not Oozified, so. That is actually the farthest location. So we don't have to worry about the ooze rate yet, but it uh, has Hunter, so it will be uh, following us. So uh, at the start of our turn, we uh, spend one talent, uh, one cheaper, so we get the well prepared into play. First action, we will investigate and I am investigating uh, three versus one. Oh yeah, and we gain a resource from the lone wolf. So three versus one. Minus two, we succeed, we get this clue. Uh, we'll move to the next location, which is uh, this one. And it is the slimy streets, uh, three Shroud two clues forced. After you discover any number of clues from slimy streets, reveal that many random tokens from the chaos bag. For each skull and auto fail token revealed by this effect, take one damage or one horror. Uh, okay, so I am investigating here with the. Uh, I'm actually using Savant for this. So we are investigating seven versus three. And uh, we get minus one. We'll grab one clue. Then we reveal uh, we reveal one token. If it's a skull or an auto fail, we take one damage or one horror. It is a minus three, so we're okay. And uh, 
that is our turn enemy turn this guy hunts over here upkeep another well prepared and we gain a resource so that is that round let's go to the next round we add another doom and counter card is wave of ooze tests willpower three take one horror for each point you fail by subject a, a, HL08 divorce each card defeated by this effect. I'm using two resources from the physical training. So we are five versus three for this test. And uh, I am exhausting well prepared. And uh, we'll choose the physical training to get plus two. So we are seven versus three. So I think we should be good. I think there's a minus five in the back, so we might get that, uh, which we do. And um, yeah, we uh, we are seven versus three. Which this is a minus five. We could discard cards, but I think I'll take one horror, and that's okay. So we are taking one horror on Jenny. Okay, uh, as a fast action, I am playing the second well prepared or a reaction rather. Then we try to investigate. Use, I'm using the flashlight. We are investigating um, <coughs> uh, five, uh, I mean, three versus one. Minus two, we'll grab the clue. Then we will draw one random token from the chaos bag. It is a tablet, so nothing ha bad happens. Second action, we'll move the, the quarantine zone. Uzi lake bed. Uh, forced after man manifold enemy spawns at Uzi lake bed, place one clue on Uzi lake bed. The enemy cannot take damage this round. There are zero clues here. Okay. So we still have one action left. I'm actually moving to the research site to see what we can do here. So, research site is a two shroud location with zero clues. Spend two clues, gain one countermeasure. Spend one countermeasure, place two clues on research site. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> I think we are not doing that. So, we'll go to enemy phase. This guy hunts over. Let's go to the crater with that. And uh, we're ready up. We draw easy mark and gain a resource. Oh yeah, and we got one from the Lone Wolf. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Dune, three of six. Encounter card is consuming more. Revelation test, agility three. Take one damage for each point you fail by. Subject uh, devours each card defeated by this effect. At the moment, I am not keen on using any cards for this test. Um, just replenish these ones. Oh yeah, and these are not exhausted at the moment. So we are testing three versus three and hoping for the best. <laughs> and we take three damage. <clears throat> Minus five, of course. Well, that sucks. Okay, and we gain a resource from Lone Wolf. Uh, we'll play easy mark, gain two resources, draw a card. Uh, it is a Faustian bargain, which I think I'll play. We'll gain five, five more resources. Okay. And uh, we want to kill this one. But not yet. We'll move down here for our last action. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, sure, five shroud, one clue, uh, test book one. If you succeed, move to a location up to X connections away from sewer, where X is the amount you succeeded by. And one clue here. Uh, enemy face, this enemy hunts over here. Upkeep, we draw, mouser, and gain a resource. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom, Encounter card is Grasping Ooze, spawn nearest Oozify's location. Uh, Hunter, forced after you perform an attack against Grasping Ooze using a melee card, it, uh, subject devours the, this card or that card. So it spawns on our location, so it is engaged with us. So, uh, 5 health, I think. Yeah, we'll gain the Lone Wolf box, and uh, yeah, I think I'll try to evade this enemy. So I'm committing the Mauser. We are probably going to play Jenny's Twins uh, when we start fighting. So we are evading this enemy. Uh, we are uh, 4 versus 3, so... That should, yeah, that has three agility icons. Should I rather... Actually... Let's not commit this one. <clears throat> I'll... Yeah, let's get rid of the flashlight. I'll take an attack of opportunity. Uh, one damage and one horror. No, uh, two horror. So we uh, can play Jenny's Twin 45s. Uh, yeah, this we have in hand. <coughs> this is because now we can use the well prepared uh, to evade. So that's really good. And I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'll use 12 resources to gain 12 ammo on the 2045s. So I'm just having the ammo next to the card. And uh, two of those because I ran out of ammo tokens. Okay, and uh, second action we are evading, and I am uh, using both of the... I think one is enough, so I'm using one... Uh, no, uh, we'll do two. So we are up by six for this test, because we are choosing the Tennis Twin 45s, which has two wild icons and one agility, so we are boosting our agility by six. Minus three, so one would have been enough, but that's okay. We'll evade this guy and move over here. Next round we will uh, reveal the center and go shoot it. Abandoned windmill, five shroud, one clue. We really need to start finding some clue tech. Enemy face, this hunts over here. This readies, we'll go to upkeep. We draw. The tower, doesn't matter, gain a resource. That is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card for this round is Devouring Ooze. Test agility 4. If you fail, choose an ally or item asset. Your control subject devours it if you cannot take two damage instead. Um, I am using one of... Uh, one well prepared and uh, the Mauser for this test. Oh yeah, I can't commit cards. Nice one tower. I'm using both of the well prepares for the Jenny's uh, Twin 45, so I'm uh, 9 versus 4. 
minus two, we pass, nothing gets devoured. And uh, I think we will use the clues to advance at the start of the round. So yeah, we should have done this actually before uh, the revealing the encounter card. So we advance, we read fluff text, then regardless of how many times, choose an ossified location, spawn the set aside vulnerable heart enemy at the chosen location. We choose... So let's see... Uh, massive retaliate, access the amount of damage on vulnerable heart. Okay. So we'll choose the this location and it is one of the new ones old burial hill force road one clue after a manifold enemy spawns at old burial hill exhaust that enemy for the remainder of the round if that enemy is defeated discover clues on old burial hill equal to the value of its blob x keyword instead of dealing x damage on subject okay but uh, yeah we wouldn't have revealed that yet. We just spawned that there. But we are uh, first action moving in. Second action. We are shooting the heart, vulnerable heart. So it has a fight of zero. Okay, let's see what is the next uh, act card. Extraterrestrial physiology. The creature's heart is exposed. Now's your chance. Forced. After any amount of damage is placed on vulnerable heart, place twice that much damage on subject uh, as well. And fast trigger ability while an investigator at your location is attacking vulnerable halts. Spend one clue that investigator plus two gets plus two combat for this attack. Objective at the end of the round, you must advance. Okay, so we have uh, this round to deal as much damage as we can. So, second action, yeah, so first action move in, second action we will shoot, and I am using the, of course, the Genesis Twin 45s, and I am using both charges from the physical training, and I am uh, also choosing the physical training for the well prepared. So, we are three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine versus zero. So let's actually not use these. So seven versus zero is enough. Elder sign. Uh, if you succeed, gain three resources. Well, don't mind if I do. And we deal two damage to the heart, and we deal four damage to. the subject, so three, four damage here. Still a long way to go. Last action, we'll shoot again. And now we'll spend these. And the other well prepared. So now we're nine versus two. Zero, two damage there. Four damage here. Enemy face, these guys hunt over here. This guy will hit us for two damage and two horror. Okay, we can't uh, take much more punishment. I think it wasn't a good idea to stay here, but yeah, I forgot that this guy hits hard. Uh, upkeep, we draw Dread Curse, okay, so, and we gain, a, oh yeah, we gain one from Lone Wolf, of course, and one from the end of the round, so, one, two, three, four, five curse tokens will be added to the Chaos Pack, which will hin hinder us a bit, okay. And at the end of the round, we must advance. Uh, 
uh, remove all damage from vulnerable heart and set it aside out of play. The amount of damage that's removed from vulnerable heart in this way is X. If X is at least one, read the following. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck and discard cards from the top until a manifold enemy with a total of at least X health have been discarded one at a time in a random order, spawn each of those enemies in different ossified locations. So we shuffle our discard back into our deck. Uh, we let's see. So we are looking at the health of the ossified enemies discarded. Okay, so health three and another three. Okay, and. Uh, We'll spawn these at different ossified locations. So I'll place one over here and let's put one over down here. Then Blackwater's Bane. You may have managed to finally harm the creatures uh, directly, but in doing so you've caused it to split even further. Each ooze enemy gains retaliate and loses the blob axe keyword. Objective at the end of the round, you must advance. This scenario will not end uh, when this act advances. Okay, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Oh, yeah, we forgot to remove this guy. Now we'll go to the next round. We had a doom, so the agenda advances. Uh, choose two ossified locations other than the crater without a copy of Vulnerable Heart. Uh, subject uh, divorce both of those locations along with all non U ooze cars at those locations. Ooze enemies are instead discarded. I'm choosing this one. This gets discarded. And this one. That gets discarded. So these are underneath here now. Shovel one set aside copy of cubic ooze and one set aside copy of grasping ooze into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. Oh yeah, I think we shouldn't have these grasping oozes in the deck. So I'm actually going through my deck and so we have one grasping ooze here, two cubic oozes. Okay, so uh, yeah, we have one of those, so let's say we drew that and put this aside. Yeah, uh, I, th I was not sure if we would uh, need to remove those. I quickly go went through the setup, so I think I missed that part that uh, those are not in the deck uh, right at the start. Or probably not the ooze freights either. But, whatever. Um, I'm actually looking if we need to remove the ooze freights. Uh, that's another thing. I'll just uh, take the other ones out. So... Uh, Mm -hmm. Let's see. No, there is no mention here. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, we should have removed the vulnerable hall, one copy of grasping ooze and one copy of cubic ooze and both copies of ooze right out of the deck. So yeah, sorry about that. We'll remove these guys. Well, this could have come uh, from the deck, but the ooze rates are gone. And uh, 
Yeah. My bad. But yeah, whatever. So we have um, now one copy of cubic use. And actually we have two copies of cubic use. And two copies of grasping use in the encounter deck now. Okay, so those are shuffled in. Then shuffle one set as a, uh, along with the encounter discard. Yeah, read the sentences. Okay, then uh, we go to the Anomaly swells. Each location is connected to each location adjacent to it. Oh yeah, we must advance this at the end of the last round, so I forgot to do that. So shuffle each set aside Migo drone enemy into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. Okay. There are three Migo drones. So even more cards get added to the encounter deck. And place one clue per investigator on each revealed Usified location to a maximum of its clue value. The lead investigator chooses a random set aside story card and draws it, resolving the side with the part one trait. Reset. The, okay, so we can choose, so we're just choosing one of the new ones. So we don't have to pretend that we drew that. Uh, so we have two clues here. One tool here, and that's it. Okay, I think we need to go heal some damage. Okay. So now we have done everything except choose the. So we reset this back to act one. If I can get these cards out of here. Okay, we're back to square one. And we choose to escort the car. So, this is a new one, so I'll read it. You've heard from some of the civilians fleeing, uh, fleeing into the perimeter of the quarantine zone that the military is sending in armory to rescue uh, secure Blackwater. You're not sure a bigger gun is, uh, is the answer, but it might help deter the creatures that have been wreaking havoc across the town. If you can de... Uh, clear the path and prevent it from getting devoured like the rest of the vehicles they they've sent in. Maybe it can make a real difference. Revelation put the set aside armored car into play at the location farthest from the fungus mound. Uh, spawn the set aside Miko destroyer enemy at the fungus mound. Put this card into play next to the act deck force. After armored car and the fungus mount, remember that the car reaches its target. Flip this card over. If the armored card is defeated or devoured, remember that the escort failed. Flip this card back over. I'll place it over here and we'll get the armored car. And the farthest location is uh, one, two, three, four. One, okay, so uh, we'll place it over here so we can move with it and defend it. And uh, you could actually put it here, but this guy will hunt. Okay. Yeah, I think that's everything. So uh, we draw our encounter card, and it is Wave of Ooze. Uh, test uh, um, will part three take one horror for each point you fail by. So we are using well prepared and physical training to go 8 versus 3 I'm actually starting to flip these over so I don't need to remember to put them back 
minus 4. We succeed, so we don't take any horror. And uh, first action, we'll move here. And second action, we'll use one of the countermeasures to heal 3 horror. And the last action, we'll move up here. So we can try to get that clue next round. Enemy face, this guy hunts over here. Upkeep, we... Oh yeah, we should have put the uh, Mika Destroyer. Let's see what this guy does. Uh, five fights, three health per investigator and two health, uh, evade. While Mika Destroyer is ready, it gains force. At the start of the enemy phase, move Mika Destroyer once towards armored car. While attacking armored car, Mika Destroyer deals plus two damage. Okay, so this guy's pawned here, moves here. Uh, this moved here, and the armored car, uh, let's see, when it moves during the enemy phase, it's really... Okay, so it doesn't move if we don't use the actions, so we need to start using actions to move it. Okay, and we'll go to upkeep. And I think I forgot uh, Lone Wolf again this round. <coughs> we find Lola Santiago, really good. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a duel. Encounter card is... Uh, caustic dis Dissemination. Uh, revelation put Caustic Dissemination into play next to the agenda deck. At the end of the round, each investigator at an ossified location takes one damage and one horror. Subject devours each card defeated by this effect, discard caustic dissemination. Okay. First action. Oh, uh, we'll get the resource from uh, Lone Wolf. We'll play Lola Santiago. Uh, we'll move uh, a fast action. We will just spend three resources. Exhaust Lola Santiago to grab a clue. And we'll use one action to move this card over here. Move over there. And we'll go to enemy face. This enemy hunts over here. This enemy hunts over here. And we'll take one damage and one horror from this. And I'll put them on Lola. And upkeep. We draw Savant. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom and draw a card. Grasping Ooze, spawn nearest Ooze location. Okay, so yeah, it spawns on us. Uh, I think we need to get rid of this enemy. So, um, we'll get the lone wolf box. We'll use Lola here and spend three resources to gain a clue. We will evade this enemy. And uh, we'll use uh, one well prepared with the tennis twins. So we are six versus three. Uh, minus two. If this token is revealed during an attack against an enemy, it isn't. So we pass. And uh, this is evaded over here. And uh, we'll actually move the armored core here to the crater. So uh, we could spend countermeasure here to deal damage. And at the end of the round, each investigator at the crater takes one damage. 
That is not good, but this is not an investigator. So last action. So this actually at the start of the enemy phase moves towards this, so it doesn't attack, so we'll move here. So this engages us. And enemy phase, this moves here. Upkeep, this readies. We draw Mauser and gain a resource. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom Encounter card is Cubicus. Revelation immediately attempt to evade Cubicus without spending an action. If you fail, spawn Cubicus engage with you and it attacks you. If you succeed, spawn Cubicus at your location exhausted and unengaged. So we are using both of the well prepared to evade. So we are uh, 9 versus 4. Skull is uh, minus one, so we evade, it is exhausted and unengaged here. First action, we'll move here, engage this uh, Migo destroyer, fire the uh, Jenny's twin 45s, and I'm using, oh yeah, we get one lone wolf buck again. We will... Uh, Spend two from the physical training. You are fighting uh, three, four, five, six, seven versus five. I'll go eight versus five. Zero, we deal two damage. Last action, we'll fight again. Using another shot from the twin 45s, and we are spending two resources. So we are uh, three, four, five, six, seven versus five, eight versus five. <laughs> Minus two. Uh, it gains a retaliate, it doesn't matter. We defeat the Migo Destroyer, it goes into the victory display. And that is our turn. Enemy phase, this enemy hunts here. Upkeep, that enemy readies. It doesn't have Hunter, so we can ignore that. Oh yeah, this should have hunted over here last round and now over here. And... Uh, we'll draw a card. Postian bargain and we'll gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom encounter card is Migo drone spawn location with the most clues other than fungus mound. Let's put it over here. So forced at the end of the enemy phase, if Migo drone is ready, move one clue from Migo drone's location to fungus mound. Okay. So we don't need to care about that Miko drone, but if we want, I think I'll put it a bit near for for us. So uh, we definitely want to move the uh, armored car this round. Uh, first action, I spent two clues to get a countermeasure. Second action. Or do I? Uh, I don't have the. I don't have the actions for that. Oh, yeah, there should be two clues at the crater also. Okay. 
let's not spend the clues. We don't have the actions this round to do that because these enemies will hunt. So first thing first, we'll move into the crater. Second action, we'll move the armored car once towards the fungus mound. And third action, we'll move down here. So we de de defeat this, move here, move this here. Enemy phase, uh, this enemy hunts over here, then this enemy hunts over here. And this takes one clue and moves it to Fungus Mound. We'll go to Upkeep, Pathfinder. Oh yeah, we got one Lone Wolf and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add one Doom. Encounter card for this round is... Oozling, spawn any empty Oozified location. I'll put it over here. Okay, uh, we are treading water here. So we'll gain lone, uh, yeah, we'll gain lone wolf box, and we will put Pathfinder uh, fast into play. This actually helps us quite a bit. Only cost two. We'll exhaust Pathfinder. Move free move here. First action, we'll uh, fire at this Migo. Uh, five versus three. Again, uh, minus two. It's defeated. It doesn't retaliate. Hmm. We'll kite this for one more turn. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I'm playing the Faustian Bargain, why not? We need more resources for future turns. And we'll add two Curse Tokens to the Chaos Pack. Funny that we haven't drawn any of the five we put earlier in. So we have seven curses in the chaos pack now. Enemy phase, this hunts here, this hunts here. And... Uh, oh yeah, we still have one action left. Do I want to play anything else? I'll play the tower. We, don't, we might want to commit cars. So playing the tower is my last action. Okay, and then they hunt and we'll go to upkeep. Uh, we draw a card, hyper awareness, we gain a resource. Now we're cooking and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom, so we actually advance. Yeah. I Let's see, the anomaly swells. Unfettered growth. Choose two Oosling location, location other than the uh, crater without a copy of vulnerable heart. Subject devours both of those locations along with all non ooze cars at the, those locations. Ooze enemies are instead discarded. Shuffle each set aside copy of Ooze Raid into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. So, uh, let's devour this one. And this one. Maybe not the best choice, but uh, we get rid of one of the hunters. Might help us later on. And we... Put the Ooze right now into the deck <laughs> and uh, also the Encounter Discard. peeking behind the act card because we've already seen it but I can't remember. So 
So we choose a, any Lucified location. Okay, so I, I think I'm actually at the start of the round um, doing this also. So we spend two clues because we want to get some damage onto this damn heart. So we place this here. And then now we get an encounter card. It is Wave of Ooze. Uh, we'll use the well. No. We'll use two from here. So we're five versus three. Let's go six versus three. It is an auto fail. And we take three horror. That sucks. So, yeah, that sucks quite bad. Actually, oh, what can you do? So, uh, we'll play this hyper awareness uh, as a free triggered ability, it costs one only. We get lone wolf money. Uh, we'll fight this heart now. We are five against zero. We deal two damage. We are second action fighting again. Five against zero. Uh, five against two. Uh, we'll go. Uh, we'll use one of the well prepared. So we're seven against two. Skull, and we succeed, so two more damage. And uh, let's see. I think we need two actions so this won't hit us, but it will, it will hit this one. Okay, we can figure that out next round. So, uh, well, no, we can't use Pathfinder this round. So we'll move here. This doesn't make attacks of opportunity. And uh, last action. We will move to the Fungus Mound. Five fraud. Zero clues. Action. Spend one countermeasure. Choose amigo, enemy, and any location. And test book zero for each point you succeed by deal one damage to the chosen enemy to a maximum of five. Okay. Enemy face. This enemy hunts over here. <coughs> uh, this gets removed at the end. Oh yeah, this deals plus two damage to this. No, it doesn't actually hit it because uh, it doesn't deal damage. Uh, well, I think it does two damage to it. Okay. Then uh, this gets removed. We add eight damage here. And this is removed. Yeah, then uh, we dealt four, so we discard, shovel this in, discard cards until we have discarded four health of stuff. Uh, one, two. Okay, so we get cubic ooze. And we'll put that somewhere. Let's put it there. We don't need to worry about it. Then um, 
Uh, each use enemy gains retaliate and loses the blob X keyword objective at the end of the round you must advance. This, that is the next round. Okay, uh, yeah, and we did an upkeep, easy mark and gain the resource. Okay, so that is that round. Uh, let's see, uh, we have dealt 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, 16 damage. We still need 14 damage to defeat the blob. But yeah, we'll see if we get there. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card is Us Raid, Father's Usified location. It is this one. Okay, that, that makes it a bit difficult now. So, um, we don't have any anything to play this round. So I think we Pathfinder in here, this engages us, we will evade. I'm uh, exhausting, well prepared to use the Genis 45, committing Savant to the test. We are 7, 10 versus 3. Do we need the Savant? Okay, yeah. Let's be sure to evade this one. Out of success, I mean uh, Elder Sign. So we succeed and we get three resources and we got one from the Lone Wolf. Okay, and um, second action, we'll move the armored car to the Fungus Mound. And we remember that the car reach its target and flip this card over. Escort the car part two. Ready only if the escort failed. I mean read only if the escort failed. Read only if the car reached the, uh, its target. Uh, it's chilling what a machine of war can do when it's fully unleashed. But in this case you're re relieved at the thundering of its gun and the crunch of its tires on alien ground. With this area secure, the military can focus its efforts on Anomaly itself, although they don't uh, thank you for your effort directly. The detachment of agents follow, uh, following you around the, tells you they view you as an asset. Put the set-aside G-Men story asset into play under any investigator's control. Remove armored car from the game. Add uh, Migo Destroyer and this card to the victory display deal 5 damage to subject. Uh, so that's actually great. 3, 4, 5. So let's see where we are at now. That is removed from the game. Those went to the victory display. Uh, we have dealt uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 3, 21 of 30, so 9 more damage, and we have done it. Might be doable, we'll see. So we get the G-Men. Uh, G-Men doesn't take up any slots, so... G-Men is, you get plus 1 to all skills, that's great. Uh, when you would fail a skill test by exactly one play, G-Men from your hand, this may cause the test to succeed. At the end of the phase, return G-Men to your hand. Okay, so it comes into play now. And we still have one action left. Hmm. See what do we want to do with the last action we have? I don't think we want to stay here. So this will hunt here. If we go to the crater, we can put the damage on G-Men. Oh yeah, at the end of the phase, uh, it goes away. At the end of the round, each investigator takes one. Okay. So I'm actually trying to kill this one off this round. 
So uh, we're shooting with the twin 45s and uh, I'm using this to trigger the physical training. This should also have a couple of resources on it. Oh yeah, actually, before we left here, I could have used the uh, Lola to grab those that clue from there. So I'll do that a bit late now, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay, we are shooting uh, uh, five, eight versus three. It is a minus five, so we still succeed till two damage to this one. And enemy face, this goes, this comes back into our hand. Then uh, up, keep this ready, engages us. We draw stubborn detective. Hello. So our text box is blanked. And we get a resource. So, yeah, we'll need to deal with this guy. But yeah, we'll see what we can do next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card is replication. Find the ma manifold enemy with the most damage on it. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until another manifold enemy with equal to or lower printed health is discarded. Spawn that enemy at the same location. Then distribute the damage that it is on both enemies so that the remaining health of both enemies is equal to as possible. If no enemy is spawned by this effect, replication gain search. Oh yeah, before, yeah, we actually didn't draw that because last round we forgot to advance this. So we have to place clues on every location. So, yeah, yeah, this um, act advances so many times, so I forgot to do it. The leading mask gets to use a random set aside story card and draws it. We'll draw. Reclaim the brain. We'll read it in a moment. Okay, and we revert to uh, back to Act One. Okay, now we again need to. Do this. Reclaim the brain. You thought you'd seen everything, but when you spot one of the creatures flying overhead with a human brain in its grasp, you realize you're sorely mistaken. Even, even more surprising, it seemed to be cra cradling the brain safely inside a claw a glass cylinder, cylinder, cylinder <laughs> as if it were a scientific sample. Are uh, these monsters collecting human brains? The irony isn't lost on you. The creatures are likely doing the same kind of research as the scientists at the research site. But even still, you've, uh, you have uh, to find this creature and stop this sick experiment. Spawn the set aside Migo scientist enemy at the location farthest from the fungus mound. Uh, that's the set aside brain case asset to Migo scientist. Put this card into play next to the act deck. Forced if the brain case is at the uh, Research side and under an investigator's control, remember the brain was rescued or forced. If the brain case is at fungus mound and attacked, attached to Migo scientists, remember that the brain was taken and flip this card back over. So Migo scientists and brain case. So Let's see, uh, Migo Scientist. While Migo Scientist is ready, it gains force at the st start of the enemy phase. If brain case is attached to Migo Scientist, move Migo Scientist once towards the fungus mound. Otherwise, move Migo Scientist once towards brain case's location. And if it is at brain case's location, attach brain case to it. If it is under an investigator's control, they lose control of it. I think we're just ignoring this. We might kill off the 
Uh, we might kill off the anomal uh, the subject this round, but we will see. So we have the clues to spawn the. Uh, heart, but do we have the damage to defeat it? So we have to deal, let's see, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we have 21, we need to deal 9 damage. Uh, so if it has 6 damage, we deal 12, so that's enough. So, yeah. First, I think we need to see the, uh, yeah, we need to decide now before we draw the encounter card. And uh, I'm shuffling the deck because we know what the encounter card is. If we don't, so then we can't do a, a blind assessment of if we should spawn it. So I'm just thinking, can I survive uh, three damage and three horror? So. Oh yeah, we have this enemy, so 4 damage and 3 horror. I think we can't. So we have to... 4 damage, we have... Uh, if we fail a test by 1, we could get this uh, out of our hand. So that soaks 2 and 2. We can still take uh, two horror and uh, three damage, four damage, uh, three horror. Uh, I mean, we can take <laughs> uh, two, three damage, but then we take one from here, which kills us. And this hits for two, so we can't can't spawn it this round. We need to do something else first. Okay, we are not spawning the brain or the heart. So corrosive slime test uh, will power for for each point you fail by. Uh, we'll just test this and spend uh, these two. So we are. We are testing 5 versus uh, 4. I'm actually hoping to get this into play. Skull is uh, every 5 cards underneath. The, there's 4, so nothing happens. So it's a minus 1. It's actually a 0. So we succeed. Okay, well... Let's see, I will, okay, we'll get one resource from Lone Wolf. I'll use one shot to shoot the detective. I'm using one of the well-prepared. We are uh, eight versus, I mean, three, four, five, six, seven versus three. Do I have any fist icons here? No, 8 versus 3. Uh, curse token, minus 5. Okay, we fail. So we are... It doesn't have retaliate, so we just fail. Yeah. I'll shoot again. And I'll use the second well prepared and two resources. Uh, this stubborn detective is dead. And uh, yeah, I think uh, next round we'll try to defeat. So I'm using the Pathfinder to move here. I'm uh, moving here, and uh, 
I'll play easy mark. We get high roller. That's actually good. And then two resources. And uh, enemy face, this enemy hunts over here. Upkeep. We draw flashlight and gain a resource. So hopefully next round we can defeat the. So this uh, hunts over here. And uh, that is that round. Let's go to the hopefully last round of the game. We add a Doom encounter card. Oh yeah, before we um, draw the encounter card, we are spending the two clues to spawn the heart at our location. Encounter card is replication. Uh, we pick the Oosling for this replication. Or Yeah, no manifold enemies have any damage on them, so we find that that spawns there and we just ignore it, so it doesn't change our plan for this round. Uh, as a first ability, or a trigger ability, I'll play the high roller. Uh, first action, we'll shoot the twin 45s. I am... Uh, Using one well prepared, we are fighting five. Uh, no, we don't need that. Five versus zero. Minus two. Three versus zero. Minus two. Luckily, we'll hit. Do uh, two damage here. We will. Fire again, last ammo. We'll use well prepared and two from here. Another curse. Elder sign will grab three resources for the success and deal two more damage. And we don't have any ammo, but we can punch. So I am using a high roller to get plus three. And the second well prepared. And using all of my resources to bump this up as much as possible. And I'm not going to say it, which is equal to saying it. Well, curse. Elder sign, we get three resources. We deal one more damage to this. And uh, yeah, uh, enemy face. Are we still alive? This moves in. Uh, I think I messed up. I forgot this was uh, engaged with me. Oh well, let's pretend. So okay, I think I lost the game with the, uh, forgetting this, but let's pretend it wasn't even here. So we left the location before it readied or something like that. So let's see if we actually would have defeated the blob. I think it's a really big asterisk that we didn't, but just for the fun of it, let's see. So this hits for two damage and this for three damage and two hor uh, three horror so uh, lola soaks one and one we put two here and we get yeah unfortunately uh, i forgot that was engaged with me which would have defeated me and uh, I forgot this hunts in and just kills us. Other than that, I think we did pretty well and it, uh, at least the deck seemed fun and interesting to play. So we got defeated. I'm not going to read in, uh, the resolution. Uh, the blob devoured everything uh, else also. And that is the game. But I think this deck uh, is really fun to play. Of course, it's high experience and... Um, not probably really viable 
for uh, other than standalone play i i might do a campaign run with it and see how well it performs in a campaign when you get, need to level up it uh, uh, a card at a time by getting some xp and stuff like that but still that was the blob that ate everything else and with uh, we were playing jenny barnes uh, parallel investigator hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time